Hi friends, good morning, this is Abhishek from TechWires and in this video I'm going to unbox and review the new laser printer from Brother. The model number is DCP-B7500D. Yes, this is a full duplex monochrome laser printer and it has costed me approximately 18,000 Indian rupees. Now, the unique point of this printer is its low printing cost. It just costs around 33 paise per page. Now, later in this video, I'll tell you how does it manage to give you such a low printing price. Now, on the box, first thing you will notice is that it is made in Vietnam. That's really good. Now, here on the second sticker, you can see it has been imported at this date and its cost is 18,019 rupees. And now, let me rotate the box other side. And here you can see that other side, we have the same thing, which is like printer design and the detail of the printer. And if I turn the printer other side, here you can see that it tells you like how many pages one toner can print. It's around 2,600 pages, which is really good because one toner cost only rupees 940. So that's really cheap for a laser printer. Now, let me quickly unbox this device and show you like what all things are there inside this box. And then I'll tell you how to assemble this device. And then I'll show you some sample printouts and the speed of the printer when the video proceeds. Alright, so now you can see that printer is out of the box and you can see that design is quite elegant. It is made up of very good material. It doesn't feel cheap. It has got very sturdy design. And at the back you can see that we have this power cable and the USB port to plug in the USB cable. And you can see that overall design is like creamish or off-white and it has got very small form factor. It, it doesn't take lots of space on your desk. And here you can see that they have mentioned designed in Japan. So as I already told that Brother is a Japanese company and it's more than 110 years old and uh, they have done lots of innovation in printing technology. So don't have to worry about the printing technology because it's not a new company, it's a quite old company. Uh, let me quickly remove all these plastic and covers and now you can see that we have these buttons so first one is the copy scan button two in one id copy button power button then we have the scan and two sided printing button so these buttons are very firm and it gives you lots of freedom to work without interacting with the computer so most of the things are accessible via these menus so you don't have to always connect to the printer for scanning, copying or when you're printing like from the other devices. Now let me tell you high level functionality of this printer. Here you can see that this is the scanning area. Like here you have to keep the document and then scan this. And here is the printing area. Like after printing the paper will come and sit here. And this is the paper holder. Like it will hold the paper when it comes out of the print. And you can easily close this paper holder by just folding it and then closing it. It's quite easy. And then you can close the top lid as well. This is the paper tray. Here you can feed the paper inside for the printing or copying. So that's very simple. And this is how you open the inside compartment of this printer. Here we will install the toner. So toner installation is very easy in this printer. It doesn't take more than five minutes or even two minutes to install the printer toner. So I'll tell you how to install the printer toner. So before we get into the toner, let me show you how is the paper tray. This is the bottom paper tray where you can fit in different type of media. So here on the top right hand side, you can see like what all types of paper you can put A4, A5, uh, executive, bond, legal, all those kind of papers you can put in and what is the weight of these papers so you can see 60 GSM to 230 GSM you can use it and here is the uh, tray like it is completely adjustable you can adjust left right top so you can fit all different kind of papers so in the toner we have two components so first one is the toner itself and it is quite small you can see that this is very light and small and this is only the part what needs to be replaced when the ink get over or the toner gets over 
and this is the other component which will not have to change it when the toner gets over this will go in only the ins at the installation time and later it will not be required to be changed it's very simple it has to go inside and then you don't have to change it again and again so now how to install this toner inside this head so you have to just remove this plus particular paper from here and then you have to fix it inside and it's quite simple let me show you in detail so I remove that paper and then I just have to put it like this and it will go inside and make a sound click sound and then you have to pull it down so it means it is locked so this is done and you don't have to do anything you just have to put this particular component inside the printer where I just showed you you have to just put it inside the component so you have to open it again let me quickly open this you have to lift the upper compartment then pull it down and then put the toner here and it doesn't take much time because it is auto set you just have to put it inside and it clips in lock it close it that's all see how easy it is to install the toner inside this printer so after putting the toner inside the printer you just have to plug in the power cable and then switch it on it will say please wait and it takes some time like 30 to 40 seconds to heat up and then it will say 100 percent auto that means the printer is ready to print scan and other activities so you have all these options so first thing what we will do is do initial setups and do some kind of test printing so what we have to do is we have to go to the print options and then select the test print you have to press ok and then you have to click on start once you click on start it will take the page so I have already put the page in the paper tray I'll show later in the video how to put the paper in the paper tray so now you can see that the print quality is quite good here you can see that it prints the shade like in the test page you can see that what is 50% darkness what is 100% darkness and you can see the crispness of the text so you can see that it's very clear and very sharp printing and on top also you can see that test print so it's quite good so it's better to test uh, the print first time and then you can see that we have different options here so we have like enlarge copy or reduced copy and then 100% 78% it's like to uh, copy different kind of uh, pages or different kind of documents so we have got lots of options here we have uh, like uh, one page layout two in one page layout both sided two sided copy and we have the contrast option also like if you want darker print or you want lighter print you can change all those things even the quality you can set like if it is a photo if it is a text or if it is auto so let me set it as a text because I'll try to print some text later in this video alright so now I'll uh, show you like when I copy this particular page how does it perform it has got one red line and all other black colored pages so when I click on start it just copy the first page and it will give the output so here you can see that how fastly it will print so here you can see that this is the copy now you can see that the quality is quite good it doesn't look like it is a photocopy it is looking like a printout you can see if I zoom the video also you can see the sharpness of this particular printout is quite good alright now it's time to connect this printer to my PC so it's very simple you just have to connect this USB cable at the back of this printer it's uh, like you have to just put one of the side to this printer and then other side to the PC now once the PC you have plugged in you have to go to the support brother page and you have to download the driver and the software to run this printer on your PC So it's quite simple you just go to the download page search for the uh, model number DCP B7 500 so you just have to put in the uh, detail and then you have to click on search and once you search you go to this downloads and then select your operating system click on download and it will quickly download your uh, like the software so I have selected the entire software not only the driver because it will help you to print easily and scan also and it's very easy to install just click on next next and then plug the printer and then click on next as we have already plugged the printer we just have to click on next and it will ask for some of the updates so you have to select yes so update all the drivers and everything and once it's done you just have to click on print it will print the sample printout so you can see here I'm printing the sample print from my PC and it prints out quite easily there is no lag when you hit print it just immediately prints 
the paper and you can see the quality of the print it's quite sharp and clean and uh, it doesn't look like any like distortion or any fading is there now let me print uh, both the side as this printer is full duplex you don't have to change it manually it will automatically flip the page and it will print both the sides so here I'm printing uh, my resume so you can see that it is very easy just have to hit on print and select both the side while printing and it will quickly print both the sides so let me zoom the camera and show you like how it is printing it takes some time to initiate but once it starts it is very fast it prints approximately 34 pages per minute so even in the duplex mode it prints around 15 to 18 pages per minute that's really fast for this small sized laser printer now you can see that print quality is also good like it's not only printing fastly but it is also printing very sharp and crisp and you can see that the darkness or the contrast of the printouts are very nice alright so now let me quickly try photo printout with this printer so this is the photo and I will print using a brother printer and here I have selected that particular photo and I've selected A4 plain paper and as we know that this is a black and white printer and it will print in black and white so let's see how is the output so here you can see that it printed very fastly it doesn't even take like more than three seconds to print and here is the printout the quality is not that great as you know that uh, laser printers are not meant for photographs but yes like if it is for business purpose and official purpose you can definitely take out the photo printouts so now let me quickly show you how is the scanning quality of this printer so before that let me show you one more feature of this printer which means like it has got a flat bed type of lid which will help you to keep a thicker book very easily on top of this so see if I'm putting this book and it will flatten the background which means when you scan the background will be quite white and it will not make it dark now how to scan it just open this brother I print and scan application on your print on your system and then you need to select your machine it is already DCP B57500 D so now you have to just select the resolution so resolution you can see it is from 300 to 1200 DPI you select that and then click on scan so now you can see that it is on 1200 DPI which means it's the highest resolution it takes a little bit of time like for printing this particular page it will take approximately two to three minutes but when you reduce it to 300 dpi it will definitely take very less time so now the scanning is completed here you can see the preview the preview will look look little blur but don't worry it is not the actual picture you have to save it on your system once you save this on your system let me save it and then you will see the real quality of this picture so once I saved it let me open this and if I zoom it you can see the quality of the scanner at 1200 dpi is really nice it scans each and every dot and very precisely you can see it is very sharp and very clear now let me show you like when you normally scan at like 300 dpi that is the normal resolution and when you click on scan you see how fast it scans so it takes less than 15 seconds or 10 seconds to scan and the quality is like acceptable so here you can see that this is the preview and we have to save it so let me save it once I save this it will save it in my system and you can see this was the previous like 1200 dpi and the size is 9.23 MB and uh, this 300 dpi is only 510 KB but still you can see the quality is really nice I zoomed it and you can still see it's really great alright now to summarize about this laser printer it is a really good purchase at 18,000 Indian rupees you will not get a better printer with this technology which is called toner series technology where you just spend 940 rupees to change a toner and which will give you 2500 to 2600 pages in just 940 rupees of the toner this will definitely be a game changer in printing segment and if you are planning to buy a scanner come printer which does not have a network capability then this printer is one of the best printer you can go about it all right so this was my review i hope you liked it if you like do subscribe to my channel and give a thumbs up to this video have a nice day bye bye